Dr. Hedri, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. And for those of us who may not know who you are, can you give us a bit of background on yourself? Sure. First of all, thank you so much for having me and letting me speak with you today. My name is Dr. Abbas Hedri. I'm a family physician. I'm also trained in preventive medicine. And my role is I'm the associate dean for curriculum. So all four years of the curriculum at this campus report to me. And I'm also a clinician who practices full scope family medicine. Given your experience in academia and with the university, I think that you're a great person to be able to give us a lot of insight into kind of inner workings of medical education. So I would ask you, if you had the opportunity, how would you change medical education in the U.S.? So interestingly, I have the opportunity that's emerging right now yeah. in that our medical school is engaging in curriculum transformation as we speak. And I'm the chair of the task force that's revamping and transforming the curriculum. Mm -hmm. So I've had some time to kind of think on this and reflect mm -hmm. on this and kind of look ahead. Mm -hmm. So currently, medical school education is largely basic sciences. Um, you think about physiology, biochemistry, in the early part of the medical school. And then you get into more heavily clinical experiences, core rotations, for example, in family medicine, surgery. And then the senior year of medical school is typically more advanced elective work. Um, and that's kind of what it is now. But there needs to be a lot of transformation from how that kind of looks now to what should probably better serve our students and patients. Namely, I'll start with the fact that I think we need a transformation on the types of students that we are selecting for medical school. We definitely want people who are smart, who are capable, who are competent, but I think that we need to increasingly look at the social and affective behaviors, skills, and aptitudes of students. What I mean by that is, are there ways to actually deem their compassion, their um, interest in community, their ideas around service and being a service-oriented industry? I think there are emerging trends and best practices about that, of which the American medical school system can adapt and modify to really look at those things as importantly as the very necessary knowledge um, and skills that we look for. In terms of how it would transform the education itself, other than, for example, how we select which students should come to medical school, I think that the curriculum itself uh, really needs to keep up with modern society and how we live as people and how doctors have to respond to that. We actually need an integration of the basic and the clinical sciences almost throughout, but we need to infuse it with a lot more of the social sciences, social sciences like team behaviors. Um, for example, how does one incorporate the issues of race, class, power, insurance status, um, family dynamics, those kinds of things in our realm of patient care. Uh, in addition to that, um, in addition to modifying what types of students we accept and the type of curriculum in terms of its integration, I really think there needs to be some more emphasis on how professions work together. So specifically, how do doctors work with nurses and pharmacists and social workers, case managers, health information technology people? So all of these things are currently in very much silos. And what I think we need to do is teach all of these health professional students from an early stage what each other is doing, how they can best work as teams, and have the patient at the center to drive better outcomes for the patient through this collaborative care. That's a fairly big paradigm shift in medical education is that lens and an eye towards interprofessional education and care. One of the other ways in which medical education must be transformed is rather than just knowledge being delivered through lecture or other types of curriculum, and then we hope and pray that students will actually be able to apply it and actually operationalize that knowledge we need to build in ways of linking formal knowledge with application and experience. So specifically, there is a commentary around how we need mixed deliberate practice. So we need students to be able to practice and get feedback once they've been observed, and then practice again in different types of things where you mix skills and behaviors. So it simulates more of real life, where patients come in with un undiagnosed conditions, and that you as a clinician and as a physician will have to kind of work out the diagnosis, the treatment plan, and have multiple types of data and facts coming your way. So we need to create more robust environments such as simulation to have this kind of mixed deliberate practice to occur. In addition, a lot is being written right now and discussed in medical school transformation around 
professional identity formation. Really having a deeper dive into the conversation around what does it mean to be a doctor? What does it mean to be part of a healthcare team? So namely, emphasizing things like altruism, humanism, and for example, that we should create leaders and scholars, and I would think importantly for me, is advocates. Advocates for our patients, advocates for our communities, advocates to help see the bigger picture, and again, get back into that, how can I serve? How can I be a doctor that's the best for my patients and communities? Thank you.